Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be doing something a little different. We're gonna be rewriting history. So we're gonna be taking some pictures of some famous people and kind of blending them together in uh, what would be an impossible picture, but we're gonna to try to blend them together as realistic as we can to make it a believable picture. So I've got a picture of Albert Einstein here. Uh, the famous scientist, and uh, this picture was taken in the early 1900s. I don't know exactly the year it was taken, but uh, over 100 years ago. And uh, we also have a picture of our uh, last president, which is uh, Barack Obama. I got him in this picture right here, uh, and this is just him having uh, fun with this uh, little teenage girl right here and making a little smirk face. And so what I've done is I went ahead and cut him out of this picture, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring him in to this Einstein picture. Now, both of these images were taken off of a website, a free stock website called pixabay.com. And uh, there's actually not a lot of uh, pictures of Obama or uh, Einstein or a lot of political figures on these sites. You're very limited in what you can do with those. If you do go to paid websites like uh, Adobe or uh, Shutterstock or places like that, you're probably going to get a lot more uh, selection of uh, famous people. And uh, so you can try that. But as far as free websites, uh, you're going to be very limited in your pictures. So these are the two that I've got, and uh, we're going to do the best we can. These are not perfect, uh, but we're going to uh, we're going to see what we can do here. So first of all, um, you need to kind of understand how big each person is. Albert Einstein was five foot nine inches long. I had to look that up on Google to make sure I knew how tall he was. Obama was right at six feet, and so he's going to need to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to make him a little bit bigger. I'm going to rotate him, and uh, I think I'm going to put him behind Einstein. So he's kind of like, uh, kind of like his little sidekick, I guess. He's kind of like standing right behind him. He's going to be slightly taller than him. Uh, so you know, he's a, he's about three inches, four inches taller than Einstein, and so I'm going to make him just a little bit taller and put him about right there. Okay, so I think that's about where I want him to go. Uh, since I want him to be behind Einstein, I'm going to get a quick select, quick select tool and just select out his hand and his coat here. Just like that. And I'm going to get his face as well. I don't think it's going to matter. I'll get his face. Uh, quick select tool did a pretty good job there. And I'm also going to select out this desk because uh, we're going to put Obama behind the desk as well. So let's do that. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So once you uh, have that selected out on uh, the Einstein layer, just go ahead and hit your layer mask button. And that's not right because that's the wrong way. So all you gotta do to fix this is invert it. Control I on your keyboard inverts the mask and that looks much better. Okay, so now we have, uh, we have both of our people here and uh, I think they're about at the right size. If you need to move them around, um, like for example, if I wanted to make Obama smaller, um, I wouldn't necessarily like just do that because then my layer mask is all messed up now. So what I would do instead is I would click this little lock button right here and then move him around. That way um, the mask is gonna stay true. But I think we're okay like that. Maybe just slightly smaller, kind of like that. Since he's standing further away from the camera, he's going to be slightly smaller. So something like that. All right. So we've got him in there. This is about where he's going to be standing at. It looks fine, except, you know, for a few obvious things like uh, Obama is in color and uh, Einstein is not. So let's go ahead and work on that. Uh, the black and white adjustment layer is a great uh, tool for that. So just do black and white and we'll clip it to um, Obama. And uh, we want to make him look um, as close to... Uh, Einstein as we can, as far as like the, the contrast and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with these sliders. I'm going to move them around. He's got a blue, looks like it's a blue uh, suit on. So I'm going to make these, these blues a lot lighter. I'm also going to make some of the reds and the yellows a little bit lighter as well. So it's just really like brightening up. Um, even though it's black and white, we're still brightening up uh, specific uh, hues and specific colors uh, in this picture. Now, the next thing I want to do, I think that looks fine right there. The next thing I want to do is uh, I want to mimic the light that's on Einstein. So Einstein is facing, it looks like he's either facing a window. It's probably a window. 
um, or a really bright flash, like a big softbox or something. And uh, Obama was not facing that, so he doesn't look, uh, the light doesn't look the same on him, but we're going to try to fake it the best we can. So I'm going to just create a new layer on top of um, Obama, and then what I'm going to do is get a white color, and I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. And I'm going to kind of follow uh, what's going on with uh, Einstein here. So if you look at Einstein, his his head, his forehead is like really bright white. Uh, the right side of his nose is bright white. And right side of his face is bright white. And then if we look at like his clothes, uh, all of the clothes that are facing the right side are much, much lighter. So I'm going to kind of do that, just kind of paint some some bright lights here on the right side. It's not perfect. It'd be much better if I had a picture of Obama in front of a window or something, uh, but I don't have that, so we're going to have to fake it the best we can. All right, that looks okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is, while we're on the same layer, get a black or at least like a dark gray, and now we're going to paint some of those shadows. So look at, look at uh, Einstein. You see there's some shadows right underneath the nose, right in there. So we're going to paint some shadows there. There's some shadows on the left side of him. So I'm going to paint some black here on Obama, right on his neck and jawline as well. So I'm going to do that. Again, this is not perfect. It would be much better if I had both of these uh, men standing in the exact same lighting, but I don't. So I'm just going to have to work with what I've got. Okay, so nice and dark here. And if I want to make it even darker, like this, this, um, the very far part of Obama, like I really want to make those like closer to black. Then I'll just make another one, change it to overlay. There we go. Okay. So essentially what I'm trying to do is just make it look like he's in front of a window, dark on one side and light on the other. Okay. So something like that looks good. And you can also do one more and change it like to darken. So like for his, um, for his collar, et cetera, you know, things that the overlay layer is not going to work on very well. So stuff like that. Uh, we can do that. Okay. Is that perfect? No, it's not perfect, but it's a good start. And uh, I would spend a lot more time with this if I was uh, doing this for a client or something, which I don't know what client would hire me, but I would do, uh, I would spend more time on this if I was actually doing um, this for real. But I think that looks okay like that. Next thing I'm going to do is do a, um, a um, selective color on top of everything. Selective color. I'm going to go to my blacks. I'm going to bring my blacks to the left just a little bit, just like that. What I'm doing is I'm taking all of the darks that are in the scene, whether they're on Einstein or Obama or the the uh, the background, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're all going to go to the left and make it a lot less uh, contrasty. Same thing with the whites. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of uh, blacks to the white. Just bring that in. And you can see I just I just really lowered the uh, the contrast down. Now I'm going to put uh, all of the Obama layers into one group like that. Let me go ahead and duplicate this group just in case I mess up. And uh, so I got a copy of him all on one layer, and then I'm going to start adding some noise. So you can see um, that Einstein has a lot of noise in his picture because it's an old photograph. And so what we want to do is go to uh, noise, add noise, and we're going to start adding some noise to Obama. And I'm going to try to get it as realistic as I can. And it looks like three to four percent matches Einstein pretty well. I think that looks pretty good. All right, let's do a couple more things and then we'll see how this overall picture looks. You look at Einstein's eyes and uh, you can see that he's got these nice little catch lights in his eyes. Obama doesn't have those because he's not standing in front of a window. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw them. So just get a nice little uh, small brush and just kind of draw some little catch lights right in his eyes. I'm probably going to change this to overlay, and I'm going to do it again. Draw a little catch lights in his eyes and change it to overlay. And let's do one more time. Draw a little catch lights in his eyes, change it to overlay. So that helped out a little bit. And you can actually get a large brush and like overlay, overlay like the entire eye area. I think that would be okay too. Okay, let's see how we look. Looks pretty good. Now that we've lowered the contrast, what we can do is we can bring all of the contrast back in. So what I'm gonna do is get a levels adjustment 
And let's bring down our midtones. Let's bring up our highlights, just like that. And play around with it. You can even add a little bit of a sepia tone to it if you want to. So you can grab like a, a gradient map. And I always love this brown to light brown and do like a little color adjustment here. And uh, something like that, I think, looks pretty good. All right, that's pretty much all I got today, guys. This is, uh, I don't know if you consider this believable or not, um, but, you know, at one little glance, it looks like Obama is hanging out with uh, uh, Albert Einstein here, and uh, it didn't take too long. This was under 10 minutes or so that we were able to do this. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend you uh, Photoshopping leaders together and try to make uh, everyone believe it because you could uh, really confuse some people doing that. But this is a fun thing to do, just uh, take some pictures, combine them together, try try matching that light as best as you can, and uh, just have fun with it, guys. But that's all I've got for today. Hope that you enjoyed this one, and uh, check back again tomorrow for a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Thanks, guys.